All right, this video is going to take us through objectives 69 through 74, exponents. Let's start with some terms for this. First one is exponent, a symbol or a placed, symbol or a number placed above another symbol or a number to show a power. So when we look at this, the parts are going to be, the bigger number is going to be our base, the raised symbol or number is going to be our power. So that's either referred to as a exponent or a power and that tells you how many times you see the base. An example would be x to the fourth. We have four as our power so that shows us our base four times. Two cubed, two times two times two shows us three times. So that is an exponent, how it's shown in that form. Other important words that we want to know, these are used generally in the dictionary of the problem. First one is exponential form. Answers will have a base and a power. So kind of what we showed on the last slide of x squared or 4 squared. You have the base, you have the power, it's a compact form. Expanded form, show the base how many times the, bit, the power tells us. So the word times is important. So our example would be we have one that's in exponential form, 3 to the 4th. We expand that and say that we are going to show each of the bases 4 times and we're multiplying or the word times come into play here 3 or 4 times. So short form, longer form, expansion, Simp uh, exponential. Exponential is a smaller form. Simplify or evaluate. Basically, what is the answer? So example, 2 cubed, you're going to think with the little light bulb there, if you see this, that's kind of what you think in your head, or if you want to write it down, that's up to you. 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8. So cu 2 cubed is 8. Another example would be 3 to the 4th. Again, we would think of it as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 to the 4th gives us 81. So again, exponential form, smaller compact, expanded. We're stretching it out how many times the power tells us. Simplify, evaluate. Now you're going to actually solve the problem. Some key steps. Very important to this because it actually is going to take you through a lot of the problems that we're going to do. We're going to start with the first one as a negative base. There's going to be different types of these, so be careful with what you're doing. We're going to start without parentheses. Negative is attached to the base, is not affected by the power. So these are some of the ones that it's going to look like. So negative 3 squared, negative 5 to the 4th, negative 2 to the 5th, negative 10 to the 10th. The negative out here is not affected. So in our example, we have a negative 4 squared. The square does not affect the negative. So we're just going to move that negative right into the answer. We have 4 times 4 gives us 16. Again, negative is not a part of this. Another example would be a negative 6 cubed. Bring our negative right into the answer. 6 times 6 times 6. Again, power of 3 tells us 3 times. That gives us 216. You want to be careful on this because they're going to trick you a little bit. They're going to put the number inside, inside parentheses, but the negative is still going to be outside. Same situation, just looks different. Take your negative, put it into your answer. Take your 5 and square it. So 5 times 5 gives us 25. In our last example, we have a negative in parentheses 7 cubed. So we have 7 to the third power. So 7 times 7 times 7 gives us the 343. And again, our negative just comes down right into the answer. The other situation that we're going to have to be careful of is now with parentheses. There's two different cases. So in our first case, negative base, even power. So we have now the negative inside the parentheses. So it now is affected by the power because of the parentheses. So again, you would think negative 4 times negative 4 because you have two of those. Negative times a negative gives us a positive, and it gives us a positive 16, 4 times 4. 
or we have a negative 2 to the fourth. Again, we would have four twos, which are both are all negative. We would combine those. And two negatives make a positive. Gives us four. Four times four is 16. So basically, when you have a negative base to an even power, your answer is going to be positive. The other scenario is we have a negative base to an odd power. We have a negative two to the third. So again, we're going to have three negative twos. We're going to multiply left to right. Negative two, negative two, positive four. Bring our negative two. Gives us a negative eight. Negative four to the fifth. Again, a negative base to an odd power. You're going to think of it as five negative fours. Left to right gives us 16. 16 and our negative four. Neg 16 times 16 is 256. Negative four comes down. I have different signs, so I have a negative 1024. So when I have a negative base to an odd power, negative base to an odd power, I get a negative answer. So remember the rule. Number in parentheses and is negative. So we have a negative base with an even power, positive answer. Negative base with an odd power, negative answer. No parentheses or a negative in of a number or in parentheses in front of a number or parentheses. This is the scenario we have. Again, just place the negative sign in the answer and deal with the number. So drop your negative in, square, or take the number by the power. So bonus ones, a couple different ones you got to look at. You have a negative 3 inside squared. You have a negative on the outside. So you are basically putting these rules together. So bring your negative here. Take care of your negative 3 times negative 3. Gives you a positive 9, but we now have to simplify our signs. That gives us a negative. We have a negative 3 to the third power with a negative outside. Again, we're just going to bring our negative down. Three negative 3s gives us a negative 27. But again, I have two negatives which make a positive, so I get a positive 27. So you have to be careful with these types of situations as you go through it. The last thing for this section is you're going to solve for with expressions. Use parentheses for your letters when you substitute your numbers. So our first example, 2y squared, x plus y, x is 2, y is 9. So now I'm going to put my numbers in for my letters. I'm going to use parentheses. So I have 9 squared, 2 plus 9. Now it's just an order of operation problem. So I'm going to say I'm going to do this first. So 9 squared gives me 81. The 2 comes down. I'm going to take care of what's inside the parentheses, 2 plus 9. That gives me 11. And then I'm going to simply multiply them across to give me 1,782. My last example is I have a square outside of everything. So again, 5s plus 2t, everything squared. s is 5, t is a negative 4. Again, I'm going to use parentheses for the numbers that I put them in for. I have 5 times 5 gives us 25. 2 times a negative 4 gives me a negative 8. Different signs I have a negative when I multiply. Then I've got to take care of my subtraction in here. So 25 minus 8 gives me 17. And if you notice, the square on the outside has come down. Now I can finally get to that. So I have a 17 squared, which is 17 times 17. That's my fourth step. That gives me 289. So this is objective of exponents. Good luck. Use these notes in class as we go through them and practice them.